Mike Malak, Majlak, however you say his last name. Mike went and had a tour around Logan Paul's new house. Now, I have wanted to watch a tour of this house for a long, long time. So, I'm very excited to finally be able to, to be honest. Because obviously, you know, me and Talia moved into our house. I'm very excited about houses. Ours did not cost anywhere near $16 million. But I saw, I can't remember where it was. I saw pictures. It was on, no, it was on Logan's end of year video. He showed pictures or like little bits of his house. And I was like, this house looks sick, but I really want to see it. So we finally get to. I was sitting here, which I've sat here before. I would have been dead. <laughs> You're too old to be doing that. <laughs> you know what? Mike's videos. <laughs> Mike sucks ass. So it's amazing to watch him. I welcome what? Mike's videos make me think like I should just vlog normally because in my head I'm always thinking like a vlog I need to do something he just vlogs whatever he's doing admittedly he does a lot of stuff but it does make me think like just just vlog just vlog whatever back to the night shift ladies and gentlemen you're working late so are we it's time to clock in I'm in the he has an old school YouTube vibe he does sanctuary of Dorado Beach Puerto Rico right now part of the United States of America home to people like Bad Bunny but of course home to a friend of mine. Supreme Kai, thank you for the sub. We've been to some of the other places he's been staying at. But for the first time ever, today I'm going to show you the house that he now owns. Some call him the goat of YouTube. Why don't you start with that? <laughs> uh, I know it says that's that. A, so kitchen area. Is that even a goat? Kind of like a lounging little living room. And then we got two bedrooms. Okay, this is like the guest house in it. This is definitely the guest house. Portable TVs in each room. It's beautiful. But I, I, it looks like what you had at 1600. I have, I've left out some information. This is actually the casita. What is that? I don't even know what that word means. What does that word? That's how you know he's so rich. You know that right away. Because it's Logan Paul and it's $16 million. That house ain't $16 million so far. The fact that I don't even know what that word means, means it's that, I don't speak Spanish, massive. Right? The house next to the house. Can you show me? Yeah, there, there's a bigger portion. Okay, show me, show me. Ah! Yeah, there we go. That's this looks like it would look awesome at night. It this looks, looks really so good night, sick. Yeah. Got a grill for the for the for grilling. Finesse and blushing, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what are you stuffing up, bro? Bro, I'm doing the Don Don 5000. Mike comes up to me yesterday and he goes, "Hey, bro, this house is nice and all, but just out of curiosity, who's the gang member in your kitchen?" <laughs> <laughs> the first thing I hear him talk about, he's like, "So anyways, I'm in San Juan, and these motherfuckers come up to me, and I'm like, bang, dude, and then they are dead on the." I'm like, bro, this dude cooks. His food's Shit. great. <laughs> His food is great. Look at this kitchen, bro. Talk yeah. to me about the countertop. That's a nice kitchen. <laughs> you can watch television. Amazing. What are we saying? Oh, kitchen. Protection shield. Kitchen dub? Comes in from there. It's, a, it's bulletproof. Let's talk about the architecture. Watch out, guard dog! <laughs> Super open floor plan. Does this door open to the pool? Yeah, so it does, yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Now you got that girlfriend now, yeah? How's that going, by the way? So good. I love her so much. Have you guys entertained? You know what? I'm. A, this is gonna sound so stupid. It's gonna sound really, really. See, that's Clay has just said what I was gonna say. I think this house is so amazing, and that, like, don't get me wrong. If I could have this house, I'd take it in a heartbeat. But it doesn't look like a. It doesn't look homely. Like it doesn't look like my my home. I'd love to have. I'd love to have like this house and that, and I could go to that whenever I wanted. But it doesn't look like somewhere I'd want to live all the time. Like a holiday house, yeah. Yes. Where do you get boiling hot with all the glass? I assume they have aircon. They're kind of the first ones to to, to pop by. I'm, I'm sorry. I gotta I gotta address the elephant in the room. What is that sound? I. I... <laughs> <laughs> That's sir. Hi, buddy. Oh. That's my favorite. No, yeah, I was I was gonna. Oh, he's got a bird. It's like the Maverick days. I low-key wanted a bird for a bit, but Talia really doesn't. But she wants a snake, and I really don't. So, fair enough. Like, parlay into it, because right. clearly the showpiece of the house. But let's just get right in. <laughs> yeah, now this is a word nuts. from our sponsors. So this may seem odd to a night shift foreigner, but for my day ones, welcome back to the Poets Corner. One question I get so much this that is an ad, isn't it? Is, Mike, where do you get more work to do this week? So let's get back to the night shift. Okay. Baby. Okay. 
what this just happened? <laughs> I this felt violated. Six million year old triceratops. About 70% actual bone. It's a piece that holds value. It's beautiful. It's a hallmark of what once roamed this earth. It's just mind blowing to me. What's something like this run you? That was half mil. The fact that his it's head sick, is isn't it? It's sick. It's so, it's cool. Anything I love, I love seeing anyone who has a passion for something. Like, I don't really want that in my house, if I'm, if I'm honest. But seeing him loving something like that, love it. Like, I have my shoes, obviously, not half a million, but I have my shoes. I love that. You know, seeing someone collect something that they just, they're obsessed with is, yeah, I love, I love it. It's the same size yeah. as its head. Yeah. It's actually crazy. <laughs> so right now you're putting the blinds down because the sun's in our face. Everything in this house seems to be pretty technical. Would you get that? Exactly. Yes, but I wouldn't pay that much for yeah, it. Yeah, I guess it's like a smart home. Not the owner, I guess. Uh, anyways, so this is one of the main living areas. Main living We're areas. Bro, so right now, The Bachelor. Bachelor Nation. Rich guy loves seeing rich people. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying I love seeing anyone get anything that they're like really like passionate about not just getting something like a you know getting like a ps5 it's cool like you know everyone wants you want a ps5 that's cool but i'm saying when you have a real actual like passion like he's thinking oh you know i've i've wanted this i'm so obsessed with this i'd love this in my house one day oh my god it's amazing whatever like seeing randy when he first started collecting pokemon cards and stuff and then he gets a card that he really likes Jin, tell me what you think of this it might be a hot take but like i find zach incredibly vanilla and a little emotionally immature. <laughs> uh, he's got the mags as well. That was, he wore them for a video. He wore them for uh, one of his pictures. He's got the mags there. He's got uh, a glove that I assume, I don't know, Muhammad Ali wore or something. Then he's got his diamond play button. Boom! I got one. You can't even see it. Mag twins. <laughs> Those mags are so expensive. Got a pair right there. Mature. <laughs> yes, that's what they're called. Who are Bachelor they? Nation. They're people, bro. No, they're not people. They're not people. It's us. Is it like Paul James? It's not me. It's, not me. it's like <laughs> Bachelor Nation. Signed glove by <laughs> Jake Paul and Tyron Woodley. Okay. <laughs> not as glamorous as I thought. Week. A little bit, but it's fine. Still a winner. YouTube plaque? Nah, I'm not going to brag. Listen, I think I was the fastest person to hit, go from zero to a million subscribers. Ever. You were there when I pulled that. Was he? I think Sidemen was quick quicker. I think Sidemen Reacts did it quicker, right? He was probably the fastest when he did it. I'm going to say it and I'm going to check. I've asked. I just have no idea. Out of the earth. Yeah. Amethyst crystal. Yeah. Love that piece. That's and cool. And then uh, a Nike Air Mag that I got for originals. I'll just show them mine really quickly. There's probably what, like four or five or even six of these that look very similar to this one. This is the vibe, bro. Super clean aesthetics. Open up this sliding door. I'm outside at this beautiful pool. Real it is so water. nice. I love the prime and inflatables. That, like, natural jungle aesthetic. What happened right there? The glass panel like this, about a hundred pound glass panel that was right there, wasn't locked in the right way. Oh, okay. Came... So Logan's was nine days at, the top, at that time. And then we did it in three days. And apparently someone else has beaten it now. I don't know who did it, but yeah. Jack steps guy too. Damn. Okay. Well, we got beaten. Sliding down like a fing guillotine and crashed into that glass panel and exploded all around the fing house. If I was sitting here, which I've sat here before, flashed the dish pi picture on my Instagram, I would have been dead. Say you have guests downstairs Jeez. or watching TV, you and Nina can like chill yeah, out up here and exactly. have that do your own thing. Yeah. So there's like a whole nother living room right here, TV. That's cool. Security cameras everywhere. Not really anywhere you can go in this house without being watched. Who's watching them? Imagine we go in the back, there's like a little... <laughs> His name's Miguel. He's, in, he's just in the closet. He's chilling, yeah. <laughs> Guys, this is the grand reveal. It's not ready yet, but... It's just not done, bro. There's no rug. This is Jack, thank you for the prime. But it's, it's cool. That's a nice this bedroom, though. This closet is probably That's bigger sick. than the majority of your home in Ohio. Nate Diaz said I'm spoiled. I think he's right. But bro, also, what the f***? If you work hard and make enough money to spoil oh, yourself, is that wrong? That's a cool wardrobe. God struck me down for fucking achieving my dreams. She got me a Rubik's Cube with our pictures on oh, it. <laughs> what's it been like having a girlfriend? So nice, bro. Me and Nina have been trying to convince Mike to go on The Bachelor. I, bro, you'd be so good at it. Because you have a great, exuberant, bright, charismatic personality that I think America would fall in love with. This is where he takes his shower. He should do it, you know. If you were interested, maybe you weren't. I wanted to show you guys what it looks like when you work your butt off. Happiness uh, is not about a destination. It's about a journey. And I get to do what I love and I'm really fucking grateful for it. And what I love happens to yield really big blessings. What are you doing? I'm doing one. You, no. You're not gonna do one. No way. Well, no way. I don't need to get spun. I'm not gonna get no fun. 
This is just like, this is all their gym, innit? And they just build a gym in a warehouse. You guys probably noticed lately, I'm in the gym five, six days a week. And I no, want we to... don't notice that. <laughs> Wait, look, he got done like that. Candle. You look like that guy done I'm so sorry, I'll go over there. I'm so sorry. The melting candle. Damn, look at these fucking things. Are they filled with air? What's in them? Do they have any actual relative strength to them? Well, today we'll find out. <laughs> Logan Paul. And the other biggest weightlifter here in PR right now, Mike Malak, are gonna have an old-fashioned Western bench off right now. Oh God, here we go. Get right into it. You want me to throw him in the air? I'm just gonna warm up with that. I say we throw on another. How many are you do? Ninety. Oh. Just right off the bat, just go to two plates. Right to two twenty-five. Yeah. yeah. Bro, I hate. I hate not knowing. I don't know how much I'll that be is. Honest with you, this was supposed to be like a whole segment, bro. This is me. This is Max. Two twenty-five. This is the way they do in the NFL combines. Let's get it on. I'm What's two twenty-five? I gotta say this. Hundred. Ready for you not to be the spotter. I'm okay. Sorry. You gotta get. The <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, can't, I do not want to f die today, bro. So he I, went I straight really to 100. Because I can't do this weight. What? Dude. What? Come on, you, you can't even bench your body weight? I'm not 225. Stop fat shaming me, fucking assholes. <laughs> Why don't you take one of these 45 pounders and stand on it? You can finally be 5 foot 6. Get the fuck out of here. Up, 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 Mike. Yeah. Go yeah. on. Yeah, Mike. Yeah! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, nah, he actually might have done it there. He might have done it where he has a dog licking his face. The dog licked my face. Did you get the dog licked my face? That is off putting. I'm not making an excuse, but it scared me a little bit. No, I didn't want it to drop. I get it's annoying. The dog kissed you. He said you could do it. I've, I've, I don't bench since high school. Well, no, they bench you when you play sports. <laughs> what? But he don't bench himself. Oh, oh shit. Oh, no. So He's wild. so wham. All right, so let's uh, count who got what. <laughs> <laughs> so his arms aren't filled with air, dude. So that was 205. As you guys who are in the gym know, so much of it is mental. When I sat down, you guys heard me say, I can't do this way, I can't do this way. But I just did 205, no problem. That's an important lesson to all you guys watching this, dude. How you talk to yourself is so important, bro. If you psych yourself out before you do something, you're not gonna be able to do it. I probably look at me. I'm strong, grow up, mate. Workout can go in there and do two plates because I'm not psyching myself out. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. Gym content does not interest me at all. Like this, this part of the vlog has not interested me at all. Obviously, I mean, I'm not into the gym. Look at me. Simon reacts to holds the record for fastest to 100k. Okay. Why would they fake that? I don't think he did. The gym looks cool, but not the actual weightlifting. Uh, I mean, kind of interested. What? Uh, it's not terrible, but there's too much of it and not enough people care. Uh, no, I get it. Like, I do. 20 is like, a lot. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I can understand it. I don't know. Give me two weeks and I will do an update on a future vlog of me putting that off. Ah. Ah. Bro, if you're having a panic attack or like just an overall mentally poor day, hop in the fucking ice bath. You'll forget all about your problems. Shh. Is there a thought that my guy just has an actual bath, to to not like an ice bath? When it's really fucking cold, straight up disassociate. So like, I'm not Logan Paul. I'm not in a bath. I'm not even here yeah, right now. Exactly. See what happened with Selena Gomez and Kylie Jenner? What did they do? They went to the golf course. You see what happened with Kai Sanat? He beat the record. I did see that. Okay. That kid's a superstar. You see Nate Diaz was talking shit I about saw you. That, yeah, he said he called me spoiled. Uh, Fake fucking blitz, Kevin. Well, they're real. Why do you think they're dying? Oh, they are real. He goes, why do you think they're dying? Because Logan thinks they're fake blitz, bro. <laughs> right off the bat, as you get out, how do you feel? Great, this is the best part. Anyone here have them? Oh, Anyone here have cold baths or cold showers or anything? <laughs> Show them who's boss, Michael. Ask me real hard-hitting questions. How's your sister, Abby, and her new daughter, Sloane? If you have 50 bucks right now, what would you buy? Do you think Aiden you do? Is, is off his rocker? You know, That's a lot of people. I'm starting to have second feelings about Puerto Rico. I've been I did it for a month and didn't feel any different. Location as well as its Bro, I'm thinking of the prime. Lack of grocery stores. This trip has been different, dude. That new crib is sick. I made a PowerPoint to convince all my friends to move out here when I moved here, and no one fucking came. Bro, I'm gonna be honest with you. I had I needed a life of my own, bro. Well, you how's that going? Not very good. Dude. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. All right, let's go for a swim. Night shift, you can come for a swim with me. I also hate the sea. Oh, wait, we can't go in with the Sony, right? I mean, that's Make very obvious, GoPro. considering how much I hate. Considering how much I hate fish and stuff. Wow. I hate the sea. 
What's up guys? Super happy to be back. Took a mental health break if you guys were wondering where I've been. This I have food poisoning and I think I'm about Please. to puke and shit myself. Wait, can you say what you were saying one more time? I have food poisoning. Shut up, bitch! <laughs> people hating on gym people is just wrong. They're just improving their health and life in general. I mean, I wouldn't hate on them. 100%. I don't think it makes... I don't know if it makes you a better person, though, in terms of going to the gym. I think it can help improve, like, your mental. It can help with that, but I don't think it makes you, like... If you go to the gym and someone doesn't go to the gym, I can't say you're a better person than this person. <laughs> Which I think some people do genuinely believe you are a better person <laughs> if you go to the gym. Yo, we're in Miami. You see the puffiness in my face. I haven't slept. I've slept a total of three hours. How many Helps hours? Helps confidence and mental health? Yeah, 100%. I'm so sick of reading the comments. Where's Jeff Wittick? Where's Jeff Wittick? This is the night shift with Mike Manlack. You want to watch Jeff Wittick? Watch Jeff FM. Or watch David Dobrik's old fucking button. Oh, whoa, 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 bro. Whoa. That's too far. Whatever. Listen to me. Burgers in Miami, not exactly the easiest London, thing to find. There's a place called the U.S. Appreciate US that. United States Burger Service. It is fashioned completely around the United States Postal Service. Everyone has their own way of self-betterment. No, I get it. And I get the whole thing of like, it can, you know, it can change your mindset on stuff. It can change your mindset, which can make you a better person. But I'm saying if if I meet two people and one of them goes to the gym, so they're in shape and one doesn't go to the gym, but they're similar, doesn't make me, a, it doesn't make any of them a better person. It doesn't make the, the one who goes to the gym a better person. I feel like some people do class. If you're in shape, you're a better person. You know what I mean? The regular one single burger is called ground. The double burger is called two day. Overnight. Express mail? Sure. The way I feel right now, if there's an onion on this, I'm launching it across the street. The people who started it also were like bakers before they started this place, so these buns are I quite like this whole here. like Double smash patty, here's a section American about cheese, he just eats and the burger priority the sauce. When Jacob, thank you for the prime, Caitlin, thank you for the 25 you months. When it's done, it'll be sitting Charlie, in the mailboxes right in front of the place. They keep that postal service theme the whole way through. Wow, super dope. <laughs> super dope. US he just wants the burger. Yes. 305 Miami Beach, suck my fucking Tana, please. <laughs> Honestly, put it ladies. on your OF. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Wow. He didn't I even eat any of the. Rest this baby right into my tummy. They just baked this bun, and the sauce and cheese mixture. I know it's not the right one if your if your stomach's feeling. Tummy. Oh, I'm I'm actually gonna kill but myself. But not because but not. Jeff didn't even eat any of the buns. It's an amazing, amazing. Phenomenal. Burger. Yeah, it's so fucking wet. <laughs> You know, I'd say the top of the burger, like the top 70% is incredible. But if you flip it upside down, this soggy patty kind of reminds me of back in like school lunch. I'm going to subtract two for the soggy bun on the bottom. But it looks after. Top 75% uh, a 12. So we're going to end up at a solid 10 out of 10. <laughs> you know the deal. It's good to be back on the night shift. Thanks for joining me. Both of you guys, honestly. Thank we we created a little bit of a family. The burger like looks, Sunday supper. looks, looks like a five. Sitting down around the table. Later on tonight, we can watch America's Most Wanted together. Aww. American Psycho. Let's see Paul Allen's burger, huh? Let's see Paul Allen's card. <laughs> no, it wasn't. That funny. That wasn't that funny. <laughs> Let's see Paul Allen's burger. That's funny to me. Real legitimate laugh. Do I look <laughs> insane? <laughs> I was laughing for real. David looked so unentertained right now. I used to like filming with David because it was like fresh, you know, it's a new camera guy. Yeah. But he's sick of me now too. Yeah. He's like, what is this guy back for? Why do we have him back? He's not funny. He's just. He's Why did this make the cut? They do a. Uh, he Fries, always has like a burger section. Government cheese. Are you sure you really want me to do this? Okay. That. That looks grim. Amazing. It's amazing. so good. It's the best fries I've ever seen out of my entire fucking life. The word I would use. Oh, she actually puked. Oh, she threw up. Top three burgers that I've had in Miami in this fast casual department. I'm gonna say USBS. Where's my mail? Postal officers coming to the house. Got a special delivery for Jeff Wittick and Tana Monjow. 7.9, 7.9 USBS. I don't know what's happening at the moment. Shit, yeah. And I'm sick of your shit. I'm going back to Los Angeles, guys. Sandry, thank you for 15 months. I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you so much okay, for have we, with us. Have we got any? Peace. So there is more to this. If you, you could jump down three steps. What was and, that last word? <laughs> this is, wait, there's literally another like two whole minutes of. Who's the part? What's <laughs> two minutes of bloopers. I'm sorry, I, I can't. If they ain't making the video, we don't want to see them. We, if they ain't making the video. Uh, I thought this video was really, really good until I thought the, the first house part 
once it started getting to the gym part, it slowed down a bit. That part was okay. Got good again with the, the ice bar stuff. And then this part was kind of kind of slow. I feel like it should have just been should have just been house tour and maybe the gym stuff. Should have been house tour, gym, and the ice bath, and that should have been the end of it. It should have ended after the ice bath. Gym stuff was calm. Ice bath, good. I wouldn't have even included the the swimming in the sea part. I would have cut out this burger part. But I enjoyed the first ten and a half minutes. Like ten and a half minutes is a long enough video. I mean, I can't judge the bloopers. I didn't watch them, so yeah, it's not an episode without the burger review. Yeah, but you also need people that actually want to eat a burger. Like you, you need people that are actually going to want to try the burger and give it a good rating, where, or not a good rating, but a proper rating. Whereas I felt like they, they were like, oh god, we got to go do this for Mike. All right. 